All right, welcome back to Scrap to the Past. Hopefully, this will be the last session. So, it's the final countdown. Yay! Ooh. All right, one more dungeon. Yep, and one more boss. <laughs> Hopefully, we know where the last heart piece is as well. Find Bowser because we're going to Turtle Rock. <laughs> Nice. I think it's near Death Mountain. Yes, um... Ooh. Go to Death Mountain and make your way up the Tower of Hera. Oh wait, we're in the light world. Uh... There should be a portal somewhere here. If I don't get wrecked by everything. Oh. Sure. Come on. Alright. Uh, no, not her. There was one around Death Mountain. I think I just knew you should just climb up. Okay, yeah, it's to climb up. <sighs> so, how's it feel to be ending this? A bit bittersweet. Yeah. Feels good to have such a powerful sword now. There we go. Okay, so let's see where. Wait, we're... actually, is that the. Is this where. I know this isn't it. I think we're supposed to get up there, though. Hmm. Let's see here, <clears throat> so it's like... Oh, it's all the way over there. Huh. This might be a little bit of trial and error. I really hope there's a, um, thingy, dark world portal somewhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it's like, supposed to be around here, so. There it is. Oh, I just gotta pound these things, I guess. Ah, okay. I was worried that was, it was going to take forever to find this thing. All right, we know. Uh, and then, yeah, use a quake medallion. Yep. This, if this was Zelda one, it, it probably wouldn't tell you what medallion to use. I wish we had full magic, but we'll make do. And you can enter and start the dungeon. All right, let's do this. Medicine and me oh, okay, yeah. Okay, the courtesy is enough to give us that. And of Samaria. All right. Oh, that's clever. Nice. Right, Whenever uh, you come to a point where the platform can change direction, hold the direction in which you'd like to go and the platform will move that way. Mm. Make your way to the northeast corner of the room and head right to screen. Oh, right, we have silver arrows. I was wondering why they were glowing like that. Alright, can we, like... Why is that just a random floating head? Alright. Yeah. I'm greedy. Yes. 
Uh, do we need to go in here? No, no, northeast. Oh, okay, right. No, 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 no. you were, you were... This way? That one. Right. Yeah. And now, we're gonna platform and ride south, ride it southward. I feel like it was gonna want me to light these torches. Yeah. I thought I could get both of them, but I think... I don't think it's gonna work. Shouldn't use the fire rod until you were at the inner portion of the track. Oh, yeah. That would have been better. Alright. Oh, oops. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see now. Go! Room, you can stay against the wall to avoid getting hit by the rolling trap. Alternatively, you can just use your magic cape and walk right through it. Yeah, towards the north yeah. end. I was just gonna say I don't want to waste magic, so. screen to get back to the large open room. <laughs> Alright, see. Let's see. This time travel into the northwest corner of the room. Alright. This is a cool little gimmick though. Oh, uh, you're supposed to well, you got magic at least. That locked door. Yeah. Ugh. I like how generous they are with the magic jars, I'll say. That was like a pokey. <laughs> the enemy in here can be defeated by a single shot with a fire rod. It'll turn oh. and use your sword and knock out its body parts at one at a time. Oh, these are totally chain chomps. Yeah, they are chain chomps. That's what they call it. The guy calls them that. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to do with this? Oof. Ow. They did three hearts. No. Okay, no, 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 no. Hit the blue, lower the blue blocks and go to the southeast part of the room. And push lone block to the left. Alright, okay. Oh, uh, no, lower the blue block. Ugh. I don't like this one bit. You can use your magic cape to avoid the chain chomps. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I can get help there because of this. If I don't run into that. Nice. Alright, cool. Played. <clears throat> Make your way to the southeast part of the room and climb the steps. Walk into the tunnel and will take you to the northwest corner of the room. Oh man. This is actually really cool. I've never seen this at all. And it's like they're doing a lot of cool, cool things with this. Take the right. Right. Uh, 
the bouncing enemy, aka the Haku Baku. Or yep. <laughs> the one you need to kill. Alright. Get in this. Art. Whoa. The door hurts. Okay, I already need to stop getting bad at aiming. For a lost dungeon, they're really generous. So that's nice. Tunnel and open a treasure chest here to get the big key. Oh, nice. Alright. Go down. Take the next tunnel and head back right to screen. Alright. Go through the tunnel here to return once again to the southeast part of the room. Go through the tunnel and head back left to screen. Hmm. Wait, what? Go through the tunnel here to return once again to the southeast part of the ah southeast part. Go through a tunnel and head back left the screen. Hmm. This has more plumbing than most Mario games. Yeah. Oh, so go to the other side now, or? Uh, you gotta take the tunnel to the left and head down the screen. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, this is something you you wouldn't really see in a Zelda game, so it's kind of fascinating, actually. Beat the enemies and then head down and left the screen. Ugh. At least we have the uh, mail chain suit or whatever it's called. So wait, uh, wh wh which direction? Take a tunnel to your left and then wait. wait. Head down left. Head down then left. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Here you'll find a number of five beam shooting lasers. Oh goodness. Carefully run and drop a bomb against the southern wall and then head through the head through the opening to get out of that. This is nuts. No, the southern wall. Yeah, you can't kill those. This is dangerous. Wow. Oh. Walk to the right, but before going into the cave, use the magic mirror to return to the light world. Oh. Oops. Alright. Oh, what the heck? Bowser's... Uh, They're called uh, Borea. Use your sword and arrows to defeat them and then head up the screen. Here you'll find what is the final piece of heart in the game. Oh, nice! Nice, we could use a refo, actually. Right, this... This might be a bit awkward. Ugh. I'm like barely scrapping the edge. Nice. Alright. Yay! Now we just need the uh, heart container from the dungeon. Like, a clear s set of hearts. Shot across the gap and open the large treasure chest to get the dungeon item, the mirror shield. Ooh! This is where the mirror shield comes from. Nice. Fancy. Yeah, look at that majesty. 
blocking his whole face. Yeah, that's Walk massive. Up the screen and then head through the locked door above. Step into the tunnel and head up the screen. Right. Use bomb to blow up the path. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. <clears throat> Did I go the wrong way? No, 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 head up, head up. Oh. Right. Oh. Use bomb, to, use bomb to blow up the pathways leading up into the right. Path to the right just leads to a room filled with rubies. Yeah, we don't need that. Nice to have, you. Oh! Goodness. Yeah, it would, would be nice, I suppose, yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll get them. I, I suppose we're getting like uh, just in, just to be safe. Uh, get get like a blue potion or something before Ganon. You mean a Ganon? Oh right, we you fight him. Tw yeah, I. Yeah, I I completely we, forgot. We don't him. fight. We don't fight him in this game. Remember. <laughs> I honestly forgot about Aganon. Or like they they had to fight him again. Ooh, that's kind of dangerous. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna do. I go trap. Uh, this is the right one. No, that's not right. This one. No. Oh right, magic cape. Yeah, I'm not dealing with the, your death trap today. Wait, why don't you just use your boomerang? Uh, that could have worked as well, I guess. Ah. See, that does so much damage. Hey. Yeah, we can definitely afford like one or two blue potions now. Yeah, just use your bow. Yeah. Well, okay, well that works too. <laughs> yeah. Use the can scenario to create a platform. Once you step onto the moving platform, go to the right and then immediately turn southward. Hold down so you can always take a swimming pathway to each fork. You will reach a central platform that has a skull. Lift it and step on the floor switch. Be sure that you only step on the floor switch once. Hmm. I don't think this. Uh, oh, okay. well, that's nice too. That's a nice refill. Oof. Ah, you hey. Some nasty fire bears. Okay, just step on this once. Alright. Right to the far left part of the room and then head southward to the southwest corner. Oh, those. Okay, those things are kind of cheap. Ah. See the question. You'll see the question mark which signifies the far left part of the room and then head southward to the south. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Make a note of the pathway from the question mark and then follow it eastward as you travel on the moving platform. Once you see your opening, turn northward and then westward, gliding your way to the doorway at the bottom left portion of the room. Wait. Uh, ah, yes, these are Pegasus boobs. Oh, so. Oh! oh oops. I thought I went. I, okay. Yeah, I thought I went the wrong way. I bet I. <clears throat> Like some like directions I couldn't see. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I got confused. Who put these things here? Ah.
This is confusing. How do I get... Hmm. I got to that before, but... You had to... <coughs> from your favorite... Ugh, from your original starting point, you had to go left and southward, I believe. Yeah. Yes, far left part of it, and then head southward to the southwest corner. Alright, go to switch again. Wait, wrong one. Go right and then turn southward. Okay, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Goodness, I didn't even see that. I need your shield. Yeah. They do it so quickly. Worth a Harry. Is it just gonna be rupees? Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Ooh. We enter the dungeon. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, the whole. Wait. I think you're supposed to use the magic mirror. That would make sense, actually. is that now that if you use the magic mirror, you will appear at this new dungeon entrance. Furthermore, if you die at the upcoming boss, you will appear here instead of the very beginning of the dungeon. Oh. From the bottom of the room, take the first path to the left. <sighs> at least they knew. They had fairy stuff, so that's nice. <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to actually go in here in the light world. Why not? Oh, okay, we needed that. Oh, wow. Yeah, because you just... <laughs> they could have slowed those guys down a little bit. It's a bit too fast. Even for a last dungeon. If you were outside, you can use the magic at this point to quickly get to the south end of the room. Run back up a screen and go through the locked door to the left. Right. Make your way through the maze hitting the crystal switches of the boomerang along the way. Use magic powder on In this last room, use the can of Samari on the question mark you know, platform. Oh, you're not there yet. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Go up here? Uh, yes. Ooh. 
Nice. Looks like it's leading up to the boss. Yep. Ooh, okay. Okay, that wasn't as long as I've heard it was, but still. This is Trinex. He has three heads, and at the start of the battle, two smaller elemental heads will attack Link. The red one will shoot fire, the blue head will shoot, shoot ice. So, use fire rod for ice, ice rod for fire? Let's see. Yeah, fire rod for blue head. Okay. Ice rod for red head. And his third head, the large head, will basically stretch out and hit Link. And you can tell when that's about to happen because it'll wag his tail rapidly. Ah. Okay, got one head down. Okay, we got green potion still and some fairies. That's the first time I've seen that. Alright, let's make this count. Because I don't want to redo this. Oops. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, is that it? Oh, oh, okay, he fooled me. Trinac will break out of his body and start to float around the room. <laughs> Moving in an oval pattern, the central, center bolt of his body will flash, indicating its weak point. Move around the room to avoid his attack and when you get a chance, slash his body. Okay. Oh, I almost died, I didn't even realize. Cool. Got all of them now. I think we've got every item in the game now. Game's over, let's go home. <laughs> Alright, final thoughts, Harry? Uh, pretty good game. <laughs> no, I'll get to- yeah, I'll, I'll get to real final thoughts when we get to, uh, proper credits. Oh yeah, Zelda got a new dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's dot, go. Dot dot. dot dot dot. You know, I like how the. All the maidens are in crystals, it's like, and like, uh, that's what Zelda was trapped in at the end of Ocarina of Time, which is kind of funny, when you think about it. Okay, um, uh, let's just go back to the, uh, tower or whatever. <laughs> let's see. Right, there should be a marker, actually. Oh. The complaining Turlock is now trying to take on Ganon's tower. Just walk to the left two screens, defeating or avoiding the enemy lines along the way. Alright. It's time, almost time for the finale. Dang. Yeah, boy. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Purple, so it must be evil. <clears throat> uh, this is another thing that's similar to Ocarina of Time. You can't do the final area without saving the sages. We're not sages in this game, we're just maidens. Yeah. It's funny, it's interesting playing this game to the, to the end now, though, like seeing how many connections there are. 